Can I delete iMessages on both my iPhone and my iPad at the same time? Hello and welcome to today's tech tip. We are going to answer a question many of you Apple users might have. Can I delete iMessages on both my iPhone and my iPad at the same time? The short answer is yes, but the process involves more than just deleting a message on one device. Let's get into it. How does iMessage sync across devices? When you use iMessage on Apple devices, the messages are synced across all devices where you are logged in with the same Apple ID. This synchronization happens through iCloud. However, it's important to understand that deleting a message from one device doesn't automatically delete it from the others. Can you make deletions sync across devices? While there's no native feature in iOS that allows for sync deletions across devices, there is a workaround to achieve a similar result. If you want the same messages to be present or absent across all your devices, you can disable and then re-enable iMessage on your devices. To do this, you need to 1. Go to the Settings app on your device. 2. Scroll down to Messages and tap on it. 3. Toggle the iMessage switch to the off position. 4. Repeat the process on the other device. 5. After a few moments, toggle iMessage back on. Please remember that when you disable iMessage, all the messages in your device will be deleted. When you re-enable iMessage, your devices will sync up with the most recent copy of your iMessages that is stored in iCloud. Is there a better way to manage iMessages? Unfortunately, as of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, Apple does not provide a way to sync message deletions across all devices automatically. The best way to manage your iMessages on both iPhone and iPad is to delete the messages manually from each device. It might not be the most efficient, but it ensures that you have control over which messages remain on which devices. That wraps up our quick guide to managing and deleting iMessages across multiple devices. While it would be great to have a delete once and done solution, for now, we have to either manually remove the messages from each device or use the disable, enable workaround. As always, stay tuned for more helpful tips and tricks, and remember to always keep a backup of important messages. Stay savvy!